Good morning and what's going on? Welcome to another Sumi Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Sumi smile and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking into today's video and for joining me. Hopefully wherever you're watching from, you're drinking something tasty, you're sitting in a comfy chair and you're ready for a shave. You know I am. Today I'm really excited to have you. We've got just over 72 hours of growth and we're gonna be knocking it down with the beautiful, absolutely glorious 921 B-Y-O-R Yates Build Your Own 921 H-Plate Razor and we're doing it Frankenstein style with the Yachi and this is their titanium handle that fits like a glove. Look at that tolerance. It goes absolutely perfectly right between the bars. No touching but it I mean it is very very millimeters close to, um, as far as the way it um, screws into the head cap and the base plate. Absolutely beautiful razor. We're going to be talking about it today. I'm thrilled to showcase this. I did the polish work myself because they do not offer that at Yates, um, the polish work, right? I wanted to showcase something I've done, talk a little bit about the culmination, all the effort and energy that's gone into the channel and that it's progression, right? And the, the fact that we're using this like this is kind of like a true testament to the, the experience and the progress and the journey we have been on here. I'm thrilled to have you here for it. We're going to be using and spotlighting and talking a little bit about Frankincense. This is what kind of triggered the whole entire um, discussion here and kind of my thoughts behind today's shave. Frankincense. This is from Master Soap Creations and Grace's team, Yachi. They did send this our way for spotlight and review and I'm really excited to be doing it because I love this label. The OSL green glow that this label really exudes plus the blue and purple tones really make it um, unique, dynamic. I think the scent on it is very interesting. It's honestly between like between between us here, this is the one thing I was really worried about. This is the one scent I was really, really worried about when I was going through their listings for soaps. And I have been asked probably 25 times now how you get to their listings on, on soaps. I have to go through Google and use their search bar in order to find the soaps usually because if you go to AliExpress and you type it in and, and use their search format, I haven't been able to find their soaps that way. It's been kind of a nuisance to find their soaps on AliExpress. So I just Googled Yashi soaps and I've been able to find them now. That way so for anybody out there curious wanting to buy these pick these up they're an awesome deal they're ranging from about $21 or $25 I've noticed I've seen some discounts uh, over on AliExpress but you have to kind of do that through Google's search engine bar at least I have I really think this is interesting um, when you look up the scent right they list the scent notes on each of their um, offerings this one is like one of the only ones that doesn't have a scent note and it just says that it's blended together with exotic spices and kind of uh, provides an interesting unique tone but I can tell you that they do mention leather and I get leather on the puck. I, the first thing I got when I opened this tin, this uh, honestly is like a, like kind of a green tone, almost foresty. I think I get like a pine or a cedar, something foresty, woody. It's dark though. So for my nose, and I keep in mind that is for my nose, there's not really anything other than I can go with that. Uh, just what I'm smelling. I, I smell something that's uh, to me reminiscent of like a oud, uh, maybe a little powdery tone. And then I do get like an alab uh, a, 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 a galabanum, like a green, almost something that's green, but then that's brought down and really kind of um, contrasted by the leather tones, which are dark. This is not like a luxurious leather. This isn't soft plush leather. This is dark. You're being chased by that dude right there. It's in the middle of the moonlight. It's dark, and I like this. I think it plays really nice, and I, I, I actually think there's a lot of sense that I'm um, released during the Halloween era, you know, time, kind of the, the, the Halloween S theme, and I think that this one is a little bit like nicer. I think this is one I could wear more regularly, whereas like, some of the ones, those are only for the Halloween spirit, right? Of the Halloween time. I like this again. This is frankincense. I do think frankincense, um, right, is probably in this scent, which almost gives it like a Christmassy tone combined with that foresty tone. I actually, the first time I smelled it, I said, is this the wrong holiday? It almost reminded me of like the uh, other festivities, right? Some of those um, more like, you know, ho like winter-esque holidays, but then you have that leather that kind of brings it back and makes it smell a little bit more dark combined with a little bit of oud. It's an interesting scent. Huge shout out to Master Soap Creations for blending such an interesting one and for um, releasing it with Team Yachi. I just think this is awesome. Again, six ounces of this stuff. Frankincense, the lather today absolutely slapped. 
it kills it looks as good as it's going to shave i can tell you that much that's always how their stuff um, kind of works for me it's very easy to hydrate i have no problems with water bands and for me i love how um this stuff just paints on i have no problems with their base whatsoever and it's a base that i think you get so much of that you're gonna really have a longevity and a long time with that soap it's really good stuff. I even will come in here, like I just dip my brush in a little bit of water to just make that a little bit shinier, a little slicker because of how like really, really well it takes water. Look at this stuff. Again, Master Soap Creations. I love their base. It's one of those bases I've been talking about for like maybe two years now. I, I had only experienced it and kind of discovered it about two years ago. And since I've I'm kind of started using their stuff, really good quality base for a very good cost. Again, Master Soap Creations. And this is their collab with Yachi. All right, let's get in here let's talk a little bit about this razor the 921 h it's a razor being produced just down the street from me in pennsylvania by jake yates it's a razor that you can go in and customize and build to your personal preferences and specs you go to their website you go you fill in all the options make sure to fill in all the options because he will sell it to you any way and anyhow that you order it so if you accidentally forget to click a handle they're going to ship it to you without a handle i will call that out they will sell you every single piece of this razor as one off or however you want to do it your way, which I really, really like. I think there's not a lot of options and a lot of um, artisans that do that, that produce a razor based for you, right? And that's why I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about this is because this right here is using the titanium handle from Grace. I love, um, I, I really love Jake's, uh, the, the head cap and the base plate. I think they're honestly one of my favorite safety razors I've ever used to date, but the handle for me was lacking. And so for a long time, I mean, they now use the America handle. You can order like that uh, other style spiralized handle for their um, actual this for the it'll fit but for a long time a lot of us were just in our bathrooms just trying every handle we own to see if we could get one that fit in between here I did talk to some people that were using a spacer that would sit in between the two bars right up here and would allow them to screw uh, the spacer up into the um, actually essentially into the bars until there was tension to lock the blade in place and I didn't love that I was like I just don't know if that's getting enough rigidity really clamping it down because when you tighten this up against that base plate, you can actually feel the blade torque into place. You feel it bend and you can see how much that blade really bends and creates a lot of tension and rigidity, which creates such a smooth, buttery shave. I love the system. I just always wanted a handle that really um, fit my preferences, had the right weight. Uh, sitting like this, it's at um, 61 grams. So it's a little heftier. I love these deep knurlings from Grace over at Yachi. They really have created a handle here that is exquisite. It is like a piece of shave art and it's functional. I love that it can get soap on it. It can get covered in lather and it, may, it remains like, you know, very, very textural. The utility to the handle is just very grippy. And I love that it goes in your hand and it's not going anywhere. And that was something I was getting with the original um, Yates handles. So I love this, right? And I think it fits with the, the kind of Frankenstein, the Frankincense style kind of mentality because we're franking it together. We're doing it an hour way. We're building an hour way. And we're using it our way polished to the tilt so i wanted to talk about this right so as i was kind of going through and, and thinking about how i wanted to do the shave i was like well the 921 is a razor i picked up just under a year ago. It's been almost a year. This razor has seen like six or seven different trips. It has uh, never left my bathroom since the day it arrived. It's remained in rotation. And there was a time where I was using it against everything, right? Because I loved the razor. I still love this razor. It's a razor that I am so proud to own. I love the cutouts on the head cap so that you can get your fingers like this. There's so many little teeny tiny factors that went into the design of this razor that I think make it an exceptional tool. And something that if you're truly, truly, passionate about the wet shaving um, experience you enjoy the craft and you want to support a brand that you know is doing everything they know to make it as smooth and as comfortable and as really exquisite and as uh, premium as possible Yates is the way to go and I, I want to say that really really loudly because for me it's a razor that I have I, I've not found something I like more than I want to really preface that I've, I found razors that I like similarly too but I have not found a razor that I like more than this one I love my 921 it's it goes into the top razor 
razors for me as far as uh, safety razors and three-piece go. It goes into the top razors that are um, titanium. And I don't, you know, I don't love that it doesn't come in polished, but I did text Jake over there. Um, he, they do, they'll offer you the machine version, right? And he's like, yeah, no, I'm not polishing razors. I don't do that. I don't want to do that. That's something that other people have to do. So I, I actually took my time. I spent downstairs. I did a little Dremel work and I did all of this, all the polish, everything with this, the photos, everything were done with a Dremel. And it was, you know, a long kind of tedious experience. I spent a lot of time kind of putting effort into this actual polish, but that polish, this, this great just came with a very, very basic uh, understanding of polishing and a Dremel. And I want to be very clear about that. The tools were very, very minimal and it was much more of like a learning experience. And that's where it kind of took me back. I said, well, if I hadn't have started, you know, polishing razors because I had the Gillette new, I was trying to make look really fancy and nice. This would have never have been possible, right? And then going back even further, I was like, well, if I hadn't have started doing the channel, right, I wouldn't be doing this, you know, this shave today. And it just made me really appreciate the, the, the journey we've been on and the progress that we've experienced, you know, seeing um, Yachi themselves starting, you know, with the ZMAC quality products that were a little bit always kind of off on tolerances to this level of titanium polishing straight to your door, just like this. I love that. I love seeing the progress and I love seeing that, you know, you have people that truly show up every single time to, you know, embrace the progress and to provide enthusiasm and to be part of of what we do here. I just really do appreciate each and every one of you. We're going to start some shaving here, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the photos. That, that was another part of this the shave today that I sat back and I said, wow, you know, things have really changed. Things have definitely progressed. We have, uh, it's, and it's all been kind of out of uh, dedication to making the experience here the best as I can. I've always told everybody here, I'm going to do the best I can for you every single shave. I'm going to try to do my best to improve the content, the quality, and to produce stuff that you find interesting, that you find enjoyable, and that you find uh, actually informative, right? That's my goal, is to provide uh, an experience here that is really um, enjoyable. And this, for me, is really kind of a showcase to that and the the, the actual um photos that behind this were like a showcase, right? I was sending photos of the kind of setup and I'll have that going on like over here. I was actually really excited because um, I, I, I've had a couple of people reach out over the probably the last six months asking me, you know, why the change, how the change and, you know, it all, really honestly has just been kind of like a kind of steps to learning, right? It's just been growth through trial and error. I just say that because that's how it has always felt with wet shaving for me It's every step of this has been trial and error. Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's go try something else, right? And originally, I was doing all of our thumbnails and everything with a phone, and I was really excited. I was very passionate about, you know, um, really embracing and spotlighting and 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 trying to appreciate the what brands do, right? Really showcasing how beautiful some of this stuff is um, that comes from our artisans and, and from the um, manufacturers. But as I kind of got further and further into this, I realized there were um, channels and there were people out there that I true that I watch and that I, I like to um, kind of emulate and uh, honestly that we're producing such beautiful foot on um, photography and I wanted to start doing the same right and I had no experience with photography at all all I had was a wife that told me that we had a relic we had a we had a camera that was older than our relationship she had gotten it in the first year in college during a photography class it's a base level camera it doesn't have wi-fi it doesn't have bluetooth it doesn't even know what those things are I can't even buy a tool to attach to my camera right that will give it any of those smart functionalities so I actually had to start some research and it kind of made me focus on technique and I think a lot of wet shaving is really that right is technique and then maybe that's why I thought I found photography so interesting is because it really does play so well with the wet shaving craft in it in and of itself it's it's all about learning and kind of doing it yourself um, doing uh, each step right and kind of learning as you go making mistakes making errors okay well that didn't work taking 500 different photos doing 5 million different swipes 5 million different shaves until you find out a rhythm or you figure out something that's working right and with cameras it's all about that focal length and the f-stop and you know getting your light balance correctly and I felt like you know this whole entire shave really embraced that whole entire journey from you know the ground up from the the pictures portion from the actual content generation portion from the intro it's all been been an evolution and it all started with you guys coming in and sending me some love dropping a comment and hitting the
the like button. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for making that possible, for embracing the channel, for sending me a little bit of love, a little bit of positivity every day, and for sharing the shape. It couldn't have happened without you. And right, I honestly am so proud of where we are today. I'm humbled. I am absolutely um, introspective when it comes to like the uh, where we are. I am just, it, it, it kind of it makes, it makes me stop and appreciate just how um, much has happened during the journey. And, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't ever see that ending. I love, I love improving, you know, as far as I tell people every single day, I, I struggle with my lather every single day and I always um, aim to make it better. It's always a learning process every single day. And I love that. I love that about our craft. And I love that just, uh, you know, about the, the channel itself. Ah, it's been awesome. It's been such a great experience. Again, this is going on 11 months and it still shaves that good and it looks that good. I cannot express that enough. Jake has gone above and beyond in making something that is beautiful. I just love this razor. It's one that I would tell you, I, from me to you, I would use every single day, never pick up another thing, and I would never like regret that. I love the way that this shaves. I've told so many people from the heart that this is the razor that I, if I were to sit down and say, okay, everything has to go, what is, what's going to stay as far as three piece safety razors go? This is the one that I, it never leaves rotation. I've told my wife, it never leaves me with a bad shave. It never gives me a, um, any fuss. And you saw how fast and uh, how easy it was. It's autopilot. Now, they do offer several different variations of that. You can go with the EH plate, the H plate, their base plate. Oh, and they, they have an open comb variation. You can really get it any way that you want it. But for me, I, I think I kind of teeter between H and EH. I use the EH plate and I say, okay, that's the best one. And then I switch it over to the H plate the next day and I'm like, okay, well, that's the best one. They both shape phenomenal for me. For I kind of, I kind of believe it's similar to like the Henson Medium versus the Aggressive. It just kind of depends on my mood, which one I want to use and which one I, I think is better that day. Because both of them shave this close. Oh my goodness! And that fast, that easy, and that effortless. I, I, I. I I just want to say it again. Huge shout out to Jake. It's a razor I bought myself. I spent my own Subi bucks on. I waited the entirety of like six weeks, eight weeks to get this. It wasn't like some, you know, fancy, oh, you know, he's, he's got his, um, face, uh, you, you know, in a channel once in a while, right? Nothing like that. I had to do all the same things and, and same methodologies to get it. And I'm so thankful I did because he, I think he's really doing something interesting, unique and successful. Well, oh, what an awesome shape. Thank you for being here for it, for not only joining me here, for joining me on the Instagram, joining me on Facebook, for continually sending the love and sending the positivity. That's all I want to talk about here. That's all I want to um, kind of share is the hashtag team all blade mentality. This smells so interesting. As I'm kind of letting it dry down, and you notice I kind of waited, I'm letting this thing kind of like mix together, kind of aerate and dry down. I'm there is such an interesting uh, dark green earthy foresty tone to this. I, I The first time I smelled it, I was like, is it an aromatic that's woody or is it a fouchere scent or is it a fouchere scent built in with a little bit of, you know what I mean? Maybe a little bit of like the leather to, to kind of balance it and add some darkness and contrast to it. And then a little bit of pine maybe to make it a little earthier and woodier and, and, and smell a little bit more like the forest. That is an interesting scent. It's dark. It is definitely dark for my nose but it smells still alive. Somehow it smells a little green. And I do believe you have like a frankincense tone to this. I don't know. I can't, I, there's not on the website, but I do think there's like a frankincense in this that almost makes it feel like a little more festive towards the winter months. What an interesting, really cool, really cool glowing kind of label and scent behind this. I love this again. What an interesting kind of dynamic scent and what a really close shave with a beautiful razor. Again, I cannot see say enough how much I appreciate each and every one of you for, for joining us on the journey, for including us in your day, and for always providing me with a smile and some of your enthusiasm. Truly, I, from the heart, I just want to tell you again, I really appreciate each and every one of you for making this channel possible. If you haven't, please go below, smash that sub button. I'd love to talk to you all in the comments. Until I see you there, soon. <laughs>